So I'm logged in inside of um, search ads. You just have to go to app.searchads.apple.com and then create a new campaign or just use this URL to go to the campaign. And here, as you can see, I just have the app name. Then uh, I put the campaign name, what's the budget and how much I want to spend daily. Then I'm not going to use any negative keywords, meaning that when people are searching for this name or for this specific word, um, never show the app for. So technically, like if it's a competitor, maybe you don't want to show it or, or um, if it's on a specific um, area that's totally different from your app, you won't show it here. But anyway, something that's very important is uh, if you want to see the uh, suggested keywords and also what is the popularity of, the, of each keywords. Here, the search ad already gives you the popularity of uh, what's trending. And uh, if you want to see it a neat way, you can just copy and paste this code. It's just a, a JavaScript uh, snippet. All right, so I'm just going to leave it there so that you guys can uh, pause the video and write this down. And then just copy and go to um, Google Chrome or even Safari, that's fine. You right click anywhere on the screen and click on inspect. Now, if you do not see inspect in Safari, let me show you what you need to click on on Safari. You would right click and do inspect element in Safari. All right, so it's very similar. Same thing with, um, with um, Firefox. All right, next is to go under console. So click on the console tab, then um, what we're going to do here is we can just clear the console. So click on the, uh, on the, on the one inside here or the, uh, the clear console. All right. And now we're just going to paste by right clicking and paste where there's the, air, the arrow here and do paste. Once you have it pasted, press enter. All right. Now you have the full view of each keywords and what is their weight or what is the, their percentage. All right, so I'm going to zoom in so that it's easier to see. So for this uh, video teleprompter, we can see what to look for or what are the best keywords to use. And I could use these keywords inside of my apps in iTunes Connect. So what I could do now is go to iTunes Connect. So that's what I'm going to do right now. iTunesConnect.apple.com, going to login, click on my apps, then locate the teleprompter. Here it is. And now inside of the teleprompter, I can create a new version for iOS. And uh, I'm going to call this one version 2.3. Create. Why? Because I have 2.2 already. So I'm just going to put 2.3. And my next step is to change keywords. I'll have to do uh, what's new in this version. But here I do have a bunch of keywords and I can update them to the ones that are more relevant. Which ones are more relevant? Well, definitely the ones that are right here in the search ads. All of these are definitely more relevant, especially the ones that have high values. Um, but be very careful. For example, when you see the word infinite, um, I advise you to go look in the App Store under the search and make sure that this is not um, this is not one of these keywords that are just trending right now. So I'm going to show you what exactly I'm talking about. This is a video that I recorded yesterday. And if you take a look at which word is was trending yesterday, the word was the very first one was infinite. So yesterday, this one um, basically got one of my apps to go higher in the ranks which triggered or trickled down all my other apps to um, get more downloads. So be very careful. This is a one-off in the sense that some of the words are just specific to a, uh, a couple days. So you have to be smart about which keywords you're going to take or remove. Okay. So definitely be smart about it. Going back here, as you can see, the word infinite gave me 80% of my downloads, but I should not use it. All right, I hope that helps you to decide on which keywords to take and which ones to reject.